Since the outbreak of COVID-19, Save a Child has been delivering food rations to people at risk of starvation in rural villages in the hardest hit districts in India. We are getting to see a smile on the faces of the poor and destitute in Rishikesh. In this, Seva Child and Akhil Bharati Mahila Ivan Bal Vikas Samiti's collaboration, Paprita Thakur President said they are carrying out this free ration distribution drive in the entire Uttarakhand. We have come here today to distribute 150 ration kits. This food will last a family of five for a month. Seva Child International from California has sent funds to our NGO, Akhil Bharatiya Mahila Evan Balvika Samiti, that is, the All India Women and Children Development Society. And we have come here today to Mayakun Rishikesh to distribute these rations. One of the districts in desperate need of food rations was Nabarangpur in the state of Odisha, where Thabir Bagh, an unpaid Save a Child volunteer, was working to deliver these rations to a leper colony. Yes, can you believe it? Unfortunately, in the 21st century, leper colonies still exist. Their hand also, you can see their hands and her hands also. This old uh, uh, sister's ha legs, they are actually uh, leprosy people. Some of them inside of their house, they are not able to come. Thabir was alarmed when he saw that the water they were using to drink and cook their food was heavily contaminated. This muddy water, which should look like the water coming out of the pump on the right, was causing a lot of illnesses and even death to the lepers in the village, many of whom are missing fingers and other deformities and have immune systems that are already compromised and made worse by their living conditions. We in the West take clean drinking water for granted, don't we? So the Save a Child team immediately agreed to ask the beer to do a feasibility study. And the results were exciting. To our surprise, we found we could dig a well 200 feet deep to reach clean water, install an electric pump and a holding tank all for just $2,400. They need the electric pump because their hands are deformed, so even going to a different well in another village is almost impossible. When we presented this project to a number of our donors, one of them was so touched by what he saw that he paid for the whole project himself. Here is our contagiously excitable Thabir, grateful to be bringing clean water to the most downtrodden members of society in this leper community. Very good people and very sweet people. And I always, whenever I come here, I get very much peace in my heart. And they always laugh. You can see in his mouth always, uh, you can see, he always laugh and make, you know, excited. But, uh, you know, they are very much happy what is going on over there. And uh, we are, it is, uh, it is our privilege to serve and through only our Seva Child donors. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you for giving smile to our uh, leprosy brothers and sisters. With the money raised and sent to a local NGO, the actual drilling started only weeks later. Here we see the heavy equipment striking water after only four and a half hours drilling. It's an exciting moment for the members of this community who are amazed and delighted that someone at least is caring for them. Because unfortunately, the nearby villagers shun and despise them. I hope you are able to see that. This is the water tank they have already bought. And uh, there is a pipe also is there and electrical water pump is there. Part of our agreement with the drilling company and the plumbers was that they build a washing station underneath the water tank. It's a lot of hard work, and sometimes even into the night, but finally it's finished. And even before the water runoff testing is complete, the villagers can't wait to clean their clothes. When the water testing is finally over, it will end decades of drinking contaminated water, and the villagers in these leper colonies can drink and wash with dignity and fresh, clean water. Now, you can see the vessels, how it is uh, before they were drinking. And uh, now the water is very clean. 
all the clothes when they are they were washing the clothes also was becoming reddish because of the muddy water you can see their hands and uh, even their teeth also when they were washing their teeth was also becoming reddish it was just like muddy but now eva bol pani aasti now they are telling we got like this water and it is so clean and it is very much useful so we are very much thankful some people have account of seva tai wala ko am seva tai wala ko chinta karta wala am pani wala chinta timo timo chinta karta wala am seva tai wala ko khushi lagla dhanyawad dhanyawad they are actually giving thanks we were very much struggling we were very much uh, uh, we were in problem of the water uh, because the society people are hating us but now we got the clean water and we just would like to say give thanks to our seva child donors they are telling so tumhe samajhte khushi to i telling them are you all happy they are telling us we are very much happy the icing on the cake is recognition of the leper colonies by the community in the form of an inauguration ceremony by local officials The smashing of the coconut signifies leaving the old ways behind and ushering in good qualities. In this case, we hope in some way it brings the local communities together. Now that Save a Child has provided safe clean water to the Gadraguda and Jankinagar leper colonies, Save a Child's next water well project is in the village of Gumradara, where the need is for cleaner water and a faster delivery system. As you can see the women of the village have to wait in line and raise the water by hand. The water is also open to airborne infection so we'll be supplying an updated hand pumped well like the one you see here that costs a mere $1700. We hope you'll support funding our village project and we have eight more needy villages to drill wells for after this one. Thanks for donating anything you can to this life-saving cause.